Hi, and welcome to this overview of Insight Web, turning data into decisions. The screen that you see now is the dashboard screen. It's the first screen that displays after you log into the system. It contains a series of graphs about your farm and is easily customizable. First thing to do is let's have a look in detail at one of the graphs. I'll pick out the mastitis focused new infection rate, click on it, and it will display the graph on the full screen. If I wish to change this graph for another one on my front screen, all I need to do is click the mastitis focus title and a series of options are displayed. Let's change it to the in-calf submission rate. There's that graph. And now when I close down, that graph is displayed on my dashboard. In some of the other chapters, we'll cover animal data, entering data, herd info and managing data. You're looking at the animal data screen of Insight Web. It's a really quick snapshot screen giving you information about your animals. To display information about the animal selected, just hover your mouse over any of the options. At the moment we're looking at the mating details. I'll move it down to events and the event details are displayed. Or carved and the last carving details are displayed. It's as simple as that. You can change the way that you view by changing some of the filters at the top or choose an animal ID from the drop down and the information will change in front of you. Really quick, simple and easy way to view your animal information. In this chapter we'll learn how easy it is to enter data on Insight Web. Firstly choose the enter data menu item and let's enter matings. The enter matings screen is displayed. All you need to do is choose the animal you wish to record the mating for. You can either click the drop down or type in the number and then just put in the details. Choose your sire, the technician, if there's a batch code once you've done that you just need to press save. Simple as that. You can also record matings or a lot of other events for multiple animals. Click the multiple animals box and the selected animal screen is displayed. Adding animals to this screen is really simple. Just click in the drop down, choose a number and press enter or type the number in and press enter. It's that simple. Then all you need to do is put the details in and click save mating. Simple as that. Let's have a look at what the herd info option does in Insight Web. When we click on it, there's a large variety of options available for us. We can display lists of any number of things. For this example, I'm going to display a production list. Click on it and there's our list displayed. We can sort by just clicking on the column headers, ascending or descending, and we can also create filters on our list. So if I click the Modify Filter button, it will display a Modify Filter dialog for me. For this example, I'm going to look for cows over 1000 cell count. Type it in, press Go, and now our list is filtered. And if I reverse the sort order, we'll see that only the cows with cell count above 1000 are displayed. It's that easy to use. One of the unique features about Insight Web is the ability to invite people to look at your herd. Let's see how we do this. Firstly, click on Home and then My Profile. Your profile will now be displayed. You can invite partners to view your herd. I'll click on Invite Partner and I'll invite Tim to look at my herd. Now, what I'll do is just give Tim the ability to look at reports for my herd. Click on Tim, choose Reporting and save the changes. We obviously have a username and password on this section. Type in your password and as simple as that. That will send off the invitation and that changes the permissions for that user to look at reporting for your herd. As you can see there's a number of options there. You could bring in an advisor to do data entry on your herd, data export or data import, reporting and also smartphone. A lot of options and certainly very unique 
and a great part of Insight Web, helping you turn data into decisions.